Okay, so today is Monday. Right before the storm, I just went for a walk. Uh, so I'm at a hotel near, uh, in the southern side of uh, Edmonton, Nisku or Leduc. And over here, it's all ice. So, that's my nice tool as I can We'll be playing later today. So I use these, because without these, I would definitely plop down a few times, you know? And then I'm using my fancy Canadian tire boots, which are watertight and the super super warm and super light and saturday so my truck is at uh, at the parking lot nearby because it's too long right because i i left the jeep and the booster hooked up so i'm paying about 10 bucks a day order the hotel is 60 so i was busy today doing my books you know like profits expenses for uh, december because normally they want me to do it before the middle of the next month and saturday i met uh, a friend of mine the freight broker who uh, lives and works here and because the 10th was my birthday he brought me like a bag full of packages right and i started unwrapping everything and i don't think i ever received so many so many you know gifts on my birthday like normally it's one thing or two right sometimes like my mom would give me some gloves or something right for, <laughs> for my birthday and, and they say that you know freight brokers and truckers they always you know uh, there's a war there's a war going on kind of like between werewolves and witches right so or what is it uh, but you know what i'm talking about but uh, turns out no it's not that bad so i got a nice jacket winter winter jacket super warm you know very light i got socks that will last me probably till the second coming i got two t-shirts and the the most fun gift was this at first i was at the loss like what the heck is this did he he didn't have enough money for a full boot or <laughs> And turns out this is what you put on your shoe, you know. I wanted to test them out now, but I, I, I knew I was gonna I was going inside and of course you know this is for outdoor only, but check this out. This is five spikes here, four here, and it has a reflector here in the back, which they say is uh, for safety. So if you're walking somewhere near traffic, this thing will reflect light. And so we just put it over the boot, you know, and then uh, I, I should have did it i should have done it now because it was so slippery it's like plus one i don't know 33 f and they said starting i think it's like three o'clock today the temperature will start dropping like by a couple of degrees celsius every couple of hours and i think it'll be minus 10 minus 15 i think at three in the morning it'll be like minus 20 which is what minus 18 f no minus uh, probably 14 f or something like that but very cool but i filled up my truck i i uh, filled up just one side yesterday i drove it to uh to a truck stop filled up at dollar 42 i think and i put two jugs of anti-gel two liters of that canadian anti-gel I, I have because yeah it's going to be next two days it's going to be crazy and so uh, i was busy today doing the paperwork but i did look at the load board there was a couple of loads. One guy wanted me to go to BC all the way to the ocean through the mountains, pick up a big excavator and take it back to Ontario. And I said, no, I don't want to go into the mountains in this weather because, you know, there's real mountains there. Pilots, you need two. I need two pilots in BC now instead of one because they change regulations. And technically, I'm not even supposed to be there because I'm, my wheelbase is 254 inches and if you if you're longer than 244 then bc cuts the length of your trailer that you are you are allowed to pull you know so i don't want to go there so bc now is on my bad boy list together with california massachusetts and now we've added bc why massachusetts it's because uh if your gross weight is over 130,000 pounds, 
you need to spend 10,000 US on doing bridge surveys and structure surveys, you know, and so everybody's cheating over there, people drive at night with no permits. That state is crazy, you know. They should change the rules because people will keep cheating and nobody's paying anything, right? So 130,000, that's like nothing, right? Like typically if you have even ten, eight axles and you can do 20K per axle, that's 160 already, right? And that's for me, like if my empty weight is 60,000, let's say, uh, you know, 100,000 pounds, that's 160. So they don't want, they don't want people to, to, uh, to hold heavy loads over there. But so anyway, if a funny thing happened yesterday, I was looking out the window, and I think it was like 10 o'clock at night, and there's a bunch of uh, rabbits. At first I thought it was three, then I see four. Four rabbits running around, you know, like big white ones, you know, like, I don't know, what's the technical term, hares or, uh, but big ones, you know, with long ears. And they're having the time of their life, they were going like that, and then they went like this, and I still see their they are you know tracks where they left they they, they were they went around that little uh, plant in there because i guess they were looking for leaves or there which is a not gonna happen and then i see then they were kind of like a like a school of rabbits you know <laughs> i wish i would have my uh, like a long lens but i didn't want to like the glass it, it would never look good through the glass and actually i sold that big uh, lens i had that 300 millimeter lens I sold it because I want to get a bigger one, but then I got paid and my stupid bank, when I was converting US dollars, I got paid today around two o'clock. When I was converting US dollars to Canadian, and everybody knows that Canadian dollar is usually cheap, the bank gave me a quote, as they say, valid for one minute. So you have to decide, do you want to convert? US dollar currency at that, or you wanna you wanna wait maybe. So I tried to refresh the screen a couple of times, see if they'll give me a better deal. No, dollar twenty-two. Dollar twenty-two like five four. But it's like ridiculous, you know? Dollar twenty-two. So let's say ten thousand, you're only getting twelve thousand two hundred bucks. Ten thousand US, they're only giving a twelve point two. Where it should be like, I don't know, twelve five, twelve six. So now I don't think uh, I'm buying a new lens, but I am ordering a new accordion. So I'm, I'm in talks with a couple of dealers of uh, Dino Buffetti, Italian accordion. The guy says he's gonna email the factory for an exact quote. I told him what I need. And uh, you know, Italy, of course, it's already, now I think it's like 10 o'clock in, in the evening there. So I'm guessing the guy will get back to me tomorrow. And so, because I know that this storm is coming, right? And over there, there's a railroad. Quite a few times I saw some cool trains, you know, with like multiple, I think one had like four locomotives, some huge, super long trains. And that way is the airport. So we're near the airport. Sometimes I see planes just landing over here, right across this, over that road. And so I extended my stay till Thursday because Thursday, Friday is going to be wo much warmer. Well, pretty much like now, but these two days is going to be crazy. But just to, you know, I got to do something. So uh, my second GoPro, I'm, I'm recording with a, with the eight, my nine is charged. And so I rented the car, call me crazy, but I rented a full size car at the airport and uh, my hotel has a, shuttle so tomorrow morning they're gonna drive me i hope the roads are not too crazy but they're gonna drive me like five minutes here to the airport i'm gonna pick up my car because i need to go to my bank i gotta check on my truck you know it's it's not that close here and i'm gonna put the camera on my head and we're gonna drive around you know, we'll do a report. We'll do a weather report. Yeah, this is my nine. See this? It's much heavier. So actually, this eight is better when you put it on your head because it's much lighter. 
So those are the news. Yeah. So I did look at the load board. Didn't see anything too exciting. And like I said, I'm not in a rush now. I, it was a super long, difficult, uh, you know, trip. I got paid. I have the money, so I can afford to sit. This hotel is, it's like sixty bucks a day Canadian, including very nice uh, hot breakfast in the morning, like a buffet. You know, not some continental stuff, but a real breakfast with omelette. You know, sausage. You know, coffee. There's free coffee downstairs. And I just found uh, some Indian food. I went in there. I said, "I'm on a, I'm I'm back on a new strange diet." So I said, "I want, I want meat only." And she looked at me for for a minute, and then she said, "Okay." I said, "Yeah, I have a, I want to have a plate of meat. Just give me beef and chicken. That's it, meat only." And then she says, "You want any vegetables?" Kind of like, you know, when they say, you want black coffee, and the guy says, uh, what do you want in your coffee? Uh, coffee? So, so I did say, okay, give me some onions. So she gave me meat and onions, so that's going to be my, uh, my lunch today. And for dinner, I'm going down, like this hotel, I'm telling you, I should have stayed here last time. Uh, it's like four years old, everything is new, like huge TV uh free internet very fast you know and uh there's a restaurant downstairs a pretty decent restaurant so you don't like you can eat in dining is allowed right and these guys i i checked the menu online they have bison burgers bison burgers i had one yesterday man you know you feel like eating your hand it's so tasty so I'm going down there today again. Maybe I'll ask for like double patty, buy some burger. And what I do, I just, I uh, throw away one pot, one half of the bun. And I just eat it with half a bun. Otherwise it just, without bread completely, it doesn't taste good. You know, just meat only, but half a bun, it's already good. You, you're cutting the carbs. You're doing good thing for the community, you know? Anyway, that's the update. So once I have the load, uh, I'll post an update, but I'll do another video tomorrow because I'm pretty sure there'll be, there'll be lots of accidents, you know, minus 20 Celsius is going to be crazy these next couple of days. And by the way, this car wash over here, car wash, I saw people on the roof there, you know, yesterday was colder and they were working. Looks like they were resurfacing the roof there, you know, putting some, what's they call it, that black stuff, you know, like rubber with uh, uh, like a tar, you know, to waterproof it. And I don't think they finished. I don't know why they not working today where it's like plus one, 33F. But yesterday there were a whole day there, you know, moving stuff around, ripping apart the old stuff. Uh, in Russian that's called Krit Krishu. Krit Krishu. Roofing the roof. <laughs> Thanks for watching.